Hello out there, we are on the air, sending out the pat signal right off the rip here, and we will get started as soon as humanly possible, as I wanted to be started this about 20-25 minutes earlier, there's a 49ers game coming on that I am deeply invested in, plus I'm not going to get to make any fantasy lineup changes if uh, anyone's a last minute scratch, so to speak. Oh well, c'est la vie. Just going to do a little sound check, and then we should be ready to go. Hey, hey, Jack. Uh, potentially. I mean, at least until the next one against Arizona State. So um, you see there that Utah actually took a loss in their last game uh, on the sim overnight to Nevada. They fell from being the number one ranked team to uh, being the number 10 ranked team. Which is too bad. I would have loved to have had a top three versus top three, undefeated versus undefeated matchup. But the, uh, I guess, bright side for me, although Dean being my pal, I kind of uh, do feel for him and it would have made things a lot more fun. It does help both myself and Palm, the uh, Arizona State program director. I don't know what we're calling it. Hey, hey Dean, speak of the uh, dev devil himself. Welcome. Just explain how uh, crummy it is that you took that sim loss. It does give us a slightly better crack at the conference. So uh, here we'll take a swing down to the brand new super sexy Pac-12. Utah has nothing but conference games left, so Oh, interesting. I wonder if Arizona State only has one more. Oh, they've played their 10th. Okay, right. They've played one more than the rest of us. So we're currently in the lead. Arizona State is in second. Utah has the tiebreaker as, they, uh, as Arizona State's one loss is to Utah. Utah has lost to Nevada. Nevada is probably out of it, even though they're a good team, 6-3 and three with a 3-2 and two conference record. Love that Oregon's taken three straight L's. That is super duper sexy. So on to the bad news. Um, my last game got simmed because, as I've explained pretty much every stream so far, uh, we lost a week's worth of recruiting, so we were given the option to have a force win against a CPU team. Uh, we took that, and two conference losses is a death sentence, says Jack. Yep, very true. So we took the W against Oregon. Turned out great, 62-27. A huge high-scoring affair. Not in our passing game, interestingly enough. Only, well, around 200 yards for uh, Dice D. Chuck, two scores. For whatever reason, MJ Goudreau got six carries and got 94 yards with them for two scores. Eddie Kingston had two more touchdowns to add to a ridiculous season total. Hey, hey, Hobbsy, welcome, welcome. And the receiving game was a little weak. Take a look at the old d -d defense. We had four picks. Hood with two, McKinney with one, and Sergio Groves. Don't even know why he was in the lineup, but he grabbed one as well. Now, there is some bad news. I don't know if um, sim injuries happen a little bit more or if it was just unfortunate timing, but we took one on the chin. Two of our five starting offensive linemen are just done for the season now. There's a slim chance... We could get Sands back if we make a uh, playoff run, maybe partway through the playoffs. That's if he... Seton is gone for this season, which sucks. He's our best offensive lineman, a uh, five-star in real life freshman this year. We're just without him. So we instead have, I believe, a 78 overall in his stead and uh, like an 81 in Sands' place. So downgrades there to be sure. Let's take a look at the uh, Utah Utes roster. Keep scrolling, 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 what? Scrolling, scrolling. Isaac Wilson is uh, under center for the Utes. And again, look at the top right of the screen next to the player face for their actual overall. Um, although, if you look in the uh, chart here, you will see their in-game overall due to, uh, damn Dean, two scheme guru coordinators. Just want to make things tougher, don't you? 
Jalen Glover, who's uh, put up some crazy numbers, it seems like. Pinto, Moss, Stanley, an excellent trio of uh, wide receivers, and not exactly some slouches below. Okay, I guess if you have a weakness, it's at tight end with Bill Savoy. But he has good speed, which sometimes that's all you need. And his offensive line, beefy, beastly, loaded with that um, abilities as well. And his defense, one of the finest. Probably the best in college football from what I've seen, at least the best in our conference. But the man allows, like, no points. And considering their one loss was a calendar simulation loss, I, they're spooky. They're a spooky team uh, running a 3-3-5, uh, three, three, I believe it was. And eternally grateful that, uh, you know, Dean, a fellow hockey fan, found a punter named John LeClaire and drafted him. So we're down a couple players. I believe Utah is missing a player as well. Enough chit-chat and talking. Let's do it to it. The number two ranked team in the nation against the number 10 ranked team in the nation. It's already a rivalry game. High stakes uh, with playoff implications. Go with our super sexy 2023 away alternates. The black helmet and the gold lettering. Because we are killing it in those jerseys. And... Whatever. I'm allowed to pretend I'm superstitious. Thank you, Dean. Hope everyone's having a good Sunday. How's everyone's uh, real life teams doing? And uh, how's everyone's fantasy teams doing, etc. and so on and so forth. I really hope that nobody on my fantasy teams gets uh, like a last minute uh, called out of the game because I'm not touching my lineup at this point. So we go to the slow sim and out of respect for my opponent, Dean, Oh, I did see that, Hobbsy. Hobbsy pointing out the Vikings are rolling this week. They were just beating the crap out of the Texans. Last I saw, they had 31 points. Which makes me feel a little better about uh, the L San Francisco took to them last week. Nice return off the kickoff, up to the 26. It's the Rumble in the Rockies. That's the name of it. You see, last year, they beat us 31-3. to From the shotgun, pick up a four. It's 34 now. Right shirt hit a 58 yarder. Nice. Good for you guys. And a first down. Just took two carries and fresh set of downs all ready for the Utes. Gain of four. If memory serves, uh, Dean, you guys are pretty run heavy, uh, right? And another first down. It's just been four straight runs, lowering the shoulder and picking up yardage right at midfield. Landon's fantasy team is scaring you now, uh, says Hobbsy. Fair enough. I don't recall who he has. I mean, I'm I'm obviously invested because I enjoy fantasy football and I very much enjoy our league, but uh, it's a different level of commitment considering I know how it's going to end. I'm not getting anywhere, and one broken tackle leads to about 15 extra yards. They're in the red zone at our 19-yard line. Fresh set of downs again. Utah is rolling here. Oh, huge juke. Pickup of nine, and we are unable to do anything here against uh, the run. Another first down. 
Saquon has 31 fantasy points today. Wow. And is on Landon's team. Yikes, yikes. All right, wrap him up. Put him down. Second goal. Big pressure, guys. Let's get this goal line stand. Limit him to three or hope for something fluky. Keep him out of the end zone. That's all I want. Don't matter how. Yeah, we'll take a sack. Sam Tauna. Pour yourself a cold one. Cool drink for cool guys. <laughs> what? That's one of the worst things I've ever said. Jack, I'm in the same boat as you, Hobbs. My opponent is Saquon and dropped 34 on me. Oh, that is tough. Full sympathy to you both. So back at, their, at the 12. Hobbs, a cool drink for cool guys. <laughs> oh, Sam, get yourself another one. All up in his grill. What, what are you doing? Wilson, quit tapping him on the forehead. So Big Sammy coming through with sacks on back-to-back -back plays when it was first and goal. And they're going to have to kick, unless they want to get real dumb. Only downside there lined up perfectly. This is money in the bank. Kicks up, kicks good, and they burn over six minutes of game clock. And with 11-minute quarters, that is significant. This might not be one of our 40-plus uh, point affairs. Although, as you'll see, the Buffaloes do run a hurry-up offense, so we tend to not use a lot of time. Kickoff back to us. Should be MJ Goudreau fielding the kick. It's not. It is Draylon Miller. That's fine. I'm coming off two 60-plus point games. What was the sim, though? 34-7 Vikings win. All right, from the 13, first and 10. Hey, CP3EP, welcome, welcome. Whoa, how did he get that in there? Just perfectly timed pass by uh, Dice and finding Freddie Avery. Gain of six, second and four now. Oh, guys, check out CP3EP's uh, YouTube channel. He is doing a very fun series on Archie Manning transferring. Highly recommend it. He's got a lot of good other stuff, too. Some MLB The Show goodness. But uh, I'm very much feeling his CFB stuff of late. So third and two. Got to get something here, guys. Can't go three and out. Empty backfield. Nice short pass. Don't need to get too fancy. Just move the chains. Nice work. First down at the 28-yard line now. For those joining late, I am down two of my starting offensive linemen probably for the rest of the season. The... Uh, Simmed game did me no favors in that regard. Oh, Eddie! Eddie Kingston, first down, gets 10 on the carry. Throw it down, big fella, throw it down. And we got the double set. Nah, come on. Don't audible out of it. It's so aesthetically pleasing. And play action fooled nobody. Loss of five on... Just a blown-up play. Second and 15. Oh, he finds him. Draylon Miller could go all the... He's clearly in the end zone. Come on now. Come on. Whatever. Send for the king. Punch it in. But Dice with a dart of a throw here. With his Brandon Webb three quarters delivery. He's got some fast secondary there in Utah. Closing the distance. I really question that. Whatever. As long as we score, don't care. Just hand it to the king. Easy money, Eddie Kingston. Vulturing that touchdown. I mean, this replay isn't really worth watching, but whatever. Might be the only score we get today, you know? 
That's one more touchdown than we had last year against Utah. We will take it. Kick is up. Kick is good. Make that 7-3. Hobbsy saying, Eddie Kingston is my spirit animal. The in-real-life pro wrestler Eddie Kingston honestly kind of is mine. <laughs> All right, Utah gets it up to their 25. Let's see if they can answer back here. Wouldn't you know, it's a handoff, and it'll be a TFL as he's just unable to get out the gates. I believe, based on the camera cut, that was RJ Johnson on the TFL. Who cares? It's about the team, not individuals. Come on. Oh, my God. Juked out of his shoes. He just took Keyshawn Beal's ankles on that juke. Lands end. First down and then some. Now from their own 46. Oh, what a chop block. And gets the ball off before being brought down. Glover back in the backfield. Nothing doing there. No gain. Third and ten. Huge play here for both teams, obviously. Converting on third down. Nicely done. Now flipping the field from R39. And just around field goal range, because uh, the kicker that Utah has is like 94 kick power, so this is a potential uh, make for them. Gain of only one. Second down. As quickly the first quarter is uh, wasting away here. Tackled immediately, loss of five. Let's see if they get a snap off before the quarter ends, third and 14. And importantly taken back out of field goal range here. So another huge play coming up. Yep. Wow, I'm amazed we even had the ball for two minutes out of uh, those 11. Third and long. Come on. No, 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 no. Well, that's field goal range, but at least we kept him from getting the first down. From, I want to say... Ooh, 49 yards. Dead center. Money. I feel you, Dean. Dean's saying this is stressful. I mean, it's kind of must win. Goudreau on the return, brought down at the 24-yard line. Let's do it to it here, Colorado. Hand off to Kingston, big stiff arm! I know it's three yards, but man, was I happy to see him just punch him in the jaw. Oh, Eddie, terrible cut. Just cuts into the defender. No gain on the play, and I hope they pass here. Sometimes there's questionable play calling uh, by Coach Sanders, I guess. Oh, Dice takes off. Fourth and inches. Damn it, that's a three and out. Missed it by that much. I'm holding my fingers real close together. Fair catch. They'll start back at their own 16. Excellent punt by Rossi. That is a gut punch, though, of a three and out to finish fourth and inches. Broken up. Good. Make it second and ten. Big sack! And Sam Tauna has three sacks on the day. That gives him 10 on the season. 
Excellent work from the five-star sophomore out of New Jersey. Don't tell me why a guy who is the complexion of Casper the Friendly Ghost uh, has a Samoan last name, but hey, CFB 25 is going to CFB 25. Oh, get him, get him! Safety! Sorry, anyone wearing earphones? Oh, brush your shoulders off, Sam. When the pimp's in the crypt. Whoa, I sound so much like Jay-Z, I don't want a copyright strike. Let's just pump the brakes there. Look at that swim move. Tackles Wilson. Oh, that wasn't a safety. That was downed at the one. I mean, we have great field position now, starting basically in field goal range. But keeping two points off the board is key. Gain of only one is... Man, Eddie, that's a couple runs with questionable choices. Does ball carrier vision matter? Or is it a small sample? There we go, Eddie. Get yourself a first. Up to the uh, Utah 25 now. First and 10. Kingston able to get two yards. Looks like Utah sent six on that one. Second and eight now. Little bit of motion. Fakes it to Mikel. Just passes to him anyway. All for a single yard. You want to talk about wasted movement. That it was it personified. Oh, Dice. Not the scramble to make. At least it's field goal range. As far too with the sack. Dice looking like he needed a map out there. All right, Batty, you got to get this. Kick is up. God damn it. No good. So that went about as badly as could be expected. I thought we had a safety. We didn't. And then we didn't even get points, despite how close we were. Tough scene. Touch pass. Nope. That's a whole lot of nope. Loss of three. Okanlola. Make it second and 13. Hand off. Breaks one tackle, but gets only two as the second man does not miss. Third and long here. 11 yards to the first down. Isaac taking off. Someone tackle him. Oh my god! You ever just get the feeling things are tilting against you? Making them punt out of this will at least keep me from being too upset, but oh, that is ridiculous. Good. Just immediately brought down. Third and ten. Don't let them convert on another third down, please. Picked off! Ball don't lie. Data McCaffrey on the interception. Seth Rollins just tweeted out, I hate football. So something tells me the Bears lost. <laughs> valid, valid. Yes, indeed. Big defense by there. Or I guess, should I say, yes, sir. I mean, that was just a questionable throw. Data was all over him. All right. Do not screw up this field position, guys. Pass broken up. Damn it.
Hand off to the King. Gets only three, so it's a passing down, and we are not in field goal range. Huge third down here. No! That was in his hands. Oh, oh my God. What are you doing? This is 58 yards. He just missed from about 20 yards closer. Whatever. We shouldn't have gotten that one. Probably should have gotten the last. I'll take it. Whoo! Stress. I mean, that counts as a three and out. I don't love the squandered opportunities, but we at least got three points there. I'm sure that's a career-long kick. That was massive. Our kicker does have mid-90s kick power, so I'm not questioning him making a 58-yarder, but uh, the game's on notice. We might lower that kick power slider further this offseason. Gain of only two. Nice wrap-up. Also keep an eye on the clock it's as, as it's the second quarter. Clock management is a big factor now. Get hit. All right, no flag. That's what's important. Third and eight. Do not allow them to convert. Yes, no mistake there. Cut in half by Quincy Wiggins. Hey, Quincy. Who'd you vote for in the 2000 election? Gore! 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 God, these jokes are getting worse, guys. I'm sorry. Why are you watching me? And they get the punt off before the two-minute warning, so that will make uh, this the two-minute warning upon the tackle. Two minutes left. Once again, we start on their side of the field, just barely. Nevertheless... Nice field position to have. Dice with a beautiful running bullet. Finds Cam Mikkel first down. And that gives him 1,500 career receiving yards for the sophomore. Nicely, jo nicely done, Mikkel. We don't get a lot of cutscenes. I'm just going to let that run. Still in the hurry up. No timeouts called yet. We have three. They have three. Gain of six. Draylon Miller's second catch of the day. That will stop the clock as he ran out of bounds. And Freddie Avery with the catch. First down, first and goal now on the eight-yard line. Clock running. 63 seconds left to go in the half. Touchdown, Buffaloes! That's MJ Goudreau. And he wants to hear you guys make some noise. Cup in the ear like Hollywood Hogan, brother. He is far less racist. And I believe he's actually told the truth in his life. Oh. Oh. You know, you can clearly see Dice Dechuk was aiming for our mascot's face. Don't you dare. Don't you overturn this. Ah, good job, Stripes. MJG, that's right, Hobbsy. For the extra point, make it 17 to 6. Oh, thanks, Dean. <laughs> I know what you mean. He's saying that uh, we're a wagon. So quick timeout called by Utah here. 56 seconds left. They definitely have time to clap back here. Big tackle and behind the uh, first down marker. Hey, Kyle. Welcome, welcome. Sam, get yourself five sacks in the first half. 
What a half of football for the sophomore. And they're going to have to punt. Hubsy, I love how we're simple creatures and uh, get excited with a sports video game. Right? <laughs> Oh, you watched the Packers game today. Nice, nice. Uh, I'm honestly missed. Oh, that could have been a pick so easily. I basically missed all the 1 p.m. games. I unfortunately had to work until uh, 3 today and basically came home and started this. They had nine, eight or nine sacks on Will Levis. Holy. Is that Will Levis being bad, or was that uh, Tennessee having a bad line, or just the Packers being amazing right now? First down, uh, Buffaloes, by the way. Timeout called. 31 seconds left. We have one timeout remaining. Let's see what they do with the clock here. In the hurry up. First down. Packers being amazing, says Kyle. Nice, nice, nice. Misses the diving catch, 17 seconds left, second down. You know, I'd start throwing for the end zone, Dice. Oh, wow, what a throw! Dice Daniel Chuck to Freddie Avery. Okay, Freddie, chill. You're not winning the Heisman this year, my guy. Touchdown. Did you see th on the move while rolling out? Like, that is just on his wrong heel. But Avery beat the coverage. Ooh. Hobbsy, that's not a stat I'd like to hear. Darisaw and crew are going to need to be ready next week. Right? Like, would anyone have predicted when Jordan Love went down and when uh, J.J. McCarthy went down that we'd be this excited for the first Packers-Vikings game of the year? Like, these both look like good teams with shocking quarterbacks outperforming what anyone expected. I mean, those games are always must-watch, but uh, feels like this one more so than in previous years. Oh, Jordan might be back next week. So nine seconds left. They'll just hand it off. And that should wrap it up for the half. So we had a massive second quarter. Everything just started to break our way. 24-6 to 6 at halftime. Avery has five catches? I somehow don't remember three of them. <laughs> Whatever. He had that massive touchdown to end the half. Let's get some of these replays. That was a gorgeous throw to Draylon. I guess you're right, his knee was down on the one. Why do we need why do we need two replays of a carry from the one? That didn't even have like a crazy dive. <clears throat> Buffaloes start with the ball. This is as far back as we've started with the ball since the first quarter. It was just crazy field position uh, in the second. Five-yard pickup for Eddie. Make it second down and not running the hurry up right now. Trying to kill a bit of clock, it looks like. Not mad at that decision. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Oh, couldn't close the grip. Goudreau took to the sky to make the catch. Unfortunately, our 5'9 speedy boy just... Didn't have the uh, hops for that one. Nothing lost, though. Draylon Miller on a crossing route. Makes the catch. First down. First and 10 at the 48. Shotgun formation. Kingston in the backfield. Goudreau. Faking the touch pass. Gone. Freddie Avery. Two touchdowns. Real... Uh, Come on, man. You're not winning the Heisman. Stop striking that pose. Do, do the Sam uh, Beer thing. That, that's fun. Or point at your fist like 90% of our team does. Just cooked number 15 there. He wants the Heisman, says Hobbs. Yeah, I, I get it. 
But uh, wide receivers don't often win it, and I don't think he's got the numbers for it. Uh, I'd love to be wrong, but I don't think we have a Heisman candidate. Nice gang tackle. Oh, Kyle Dabbs, number 15, was in on the mix there. Nice, nice. Hobbsy, it'll be nice when uh, the players named after you get to be in the roster next season. They're currently redshirting, getting better. Gain of nine on the pass. So Utah's going to have to uh, take to the air a bit more than they did in the first half. If they want to close this gap. First down acquired. Oh, hit stick by Data. Oh, Dean, don't say it's over. Early still, my man. There's still like half this game. You know how momentum can switch on a dime. Data with another tackle. He's basting and feasting out here today. Number 16 with the uh, arm gimmick. And too much pressure on the QB. They're going to have to punt. John LeClaire with the kick. Dean, you got to change his number to number 10. Buffalo start at their own 29. Hand off to Kingston. Big stiff arm punches a man in the jaw. Still loses a yard, but I'm always happy when he takes a body with him. And where is Michael Welch? Back-to-back uh, -back TFLs, and yikes. So empty backfield now. Third and 14. Come on, Freddie Avery. 75 yards to the house. Touchdown, Buffaloes. All right, he switched it up from the Heisman pose this time. Jennings TD for San Francisco. Nice, nice, nice. And poor Johnson just having the worst day possible. Kick is up. Kick is good. Tackled behind the 20. Nice result for us. So it's an 82-yard journey if Utah wants to get to the house. Pass complete. Nicely done. I assume that's not a two-way player. That's just two guys on your team were 15. Little screen pass action to the same man. First down acquired. First and 10 from their own 32 now. Handoff gets five. Second down. And Isaac, uh, Isaac Wilson calling for an audible here. I think it's Isaac. Might be Isaiah. I don't actually know. First down. Glover picks it up. Gain of only two that time. Make it second down. And I'm not upset with all the inside runs because it's killing the clock for us. Under three minutes left here in the third. They're going to have to throw. Not in time. They're going to have to punt.
Oh, no. Dean asking if he can tap out. Just as the man I've been mocking all game, Tao Johnson, gets himself a pick six after being cooked for three Avery TDs. You still got something in the tank here, Dean. Just lurked that perfectly. And that was intended for Avery again. Kick is up. Kick is good. They get 38-13 Colorado now. All right, let's try this again. This time, don't throw them a touchdown on the first play. At least Dice has thrown touchdowns on back-to-back -back throws. One for each team, but so be it. Hand off Michael Welch. Rare sighting today. Gets seven on the carry. And back out he goes. Oh, keeper for Dice, who actually loses the yard. So third and four, empty backfield here. Looks like man coverage. And Cam McKell picks up the first down. Nicely done. Kingston gets only two on the carry. Second and eight. Welch back in the backfield. Nice to see a little rotation here. Gets one yard there. We'll see if they got a snap off before the quarter ends. They'll let that clock run out. We're headed to the fourth quarter. The score is Colorado 38, the Utah Utes 13. Shoot, four user teams are in the top four. Wow. How did that work? Eddie, pull away, Eddie. Take it 56 yards to the house, Eddie. The last of a dying breed. The War King, Eddie Kingston. Just followed his blocks and pulled away. I mean, 31 for Utah was real close. He was smelling Eddie's cologne. Kick is up, kick is good. Loss of four. Kofi Taylor uh, Barracks, I think, is his last name. That's just a straight up drop. That's a tough scene. So, third and long here. Batted down. And they're going for it here. Risky business from their own 21-yard line. It's an arm punt. Colton Hood with the pick. Buffalo's ball at the 33.
So with just over 10 minutes left to play, let's run out some clock, guys. Eddie. Oh, pushes the man off. He's up to 99 yards on the day, second and one. And our D-tackle, uh, Dan Connor out there, the as playing fullback. All for play action. Oh, dice. Get a lane, slide. Beautifully done, my man. Empty backfield, which is super questionable when you're this close and up by this much late. Come on. <laughs> Maybe Dana needs to watch every game for franchise mode. It works for the Buffaloes their way, and thank you, uh, Hobbsy. Smith Snowden with the pick. I think that's the, well, it's the second in the game Dice has thrown, I think only the fourth this season, but against good user teams. I, that being said, Hobbsy, we got just destroyed on stream uh, last season, but we were a lot weaker. It's, it was a good off season. Yeah, I know. Both picks have come at hilarious times for uh, comments. Another drop. What is going on here, Utah? And Quincy Wiggins with another. I'm surprised they haven't brought out the bench. Where was the block? Oh my gosh. Leclerc with the punt. And Goudreau will uh, bring it up to the 42 yard line. Ah, not good. Loss of three for Kingston there. Michael Welch tags in. Second and long. Ah, the fresh legs uh, worked out well. Gain of 11. Third and two. And Kingston gets enough for the first down. Fresh set of downs at the Utah 31. Oh, Welch, nice carry. Oh, 15 on that, up to the Utah 14. Nice nine yard pickup for Eddie. He's over 100 yards on another game this season. It's enough for the first down. First and goal now at the three-yard line. Dan Carner, the fullback D-tackle, is out there again. Touchdown, Kingston, as he gets cut stick, and that momentum sends him into the paint. Can you tell him ready for basketball season? The paint, come on. For three. I think that's Eddie's third rushing TD on the day. He takes to the uh, end zone ass first. Oh, nice. WNBA playoffs being on. I mean, it is football day for me, so it would it would take like a significant game seven for me to not be watching football after this wraps up. First down, gets out of bounds. I mean, it's, it's kind of seems like a moot point now, but smart play. Ooh, 
Ooh, throw on the run. Was that Dijon Stanley? Yes, indeed, the super speedy boy. Now at the Buffalo's 40-yard line. Loss of four. Kyle dabs with the TFL. Nicely done, Kyle. The pressure got there. Third and long. So it'll make it a fourth and three. They will go for about a 50-yard field goal here. Their kicker definitely has the leg for this. Kick is up. Money. Less than two minutes to go now. I assume we'll just see a few run plays and we'll call it for this one. Gain of five for Kingston. Another first down on another five yard gain. And this should be the final play of the ball game. Little two yard pickup. And you can make the rivalry series between myself and Dean, between Colorado and the Utah Utes. The third straight year we've matched up. Currently, I am leading the series now 2-1, to one, as this was the rubber match. Until next year, the Rumble and the Rockies. Freddie Avery, seven catches, 191 yards, and three scores. And he didn't touch the ball in the fourth quarter. Beefy, beefy game for that man. <laughs> they show the pick six. Actually, yeah, he only had two catches in the second half because we saw he was the spotlight player at halftime. He had five. He had two catches in the second half, and both were house calls. Let's do a quick look at the stats. We had 500 yards of total offense. Wild. Isaac Wilson, 16 of 28 for 98 yards, two picks. Glover, 16 for 72, though. Nice, nice. Kingston, 22 for 126 and three scores. Dice D. Chuck. That counts the, the sacks he took. So got a net positive two yards. Michael Welch, four for 38. Dice went 16 of 23 for 342 yards. 69% completion rate. Four scores, two picks. Avery obviously classing things. Seven for 191 and three. Draylon Miller, three for 91. Cam McKell, three for 34. Amarian Miller, one for 12. MJ Goudreau, one for eight in a score. And Cordell Russell, one for six. On the defensive side of things, Data led the team in tackles. Sam led the team in TFLs and sacks. And one interception apiece for Hood and McCaffrey. And Batty hit a 58-yard uh, field goal, but missed the, like, 35-yarder. It is what it is. So I still have to do all my recruiting for this week, and uh, 49ers game is on. So I am definitely going to uh, dip basically immediately. 
Thank you all for coming out. You could have been anywhere else in the world, especially today, and you chose to spend it with us. I appreciate that. I appreciate you. Average a good chance that I'm back later on tonight, maybe after Sunday Night Football, with uh, my stream against the Arizona State Sun Devils. Right. They're currently ranked number four, and they won their game this week, so they're likely to be, well, they'll still be a top five team, potentially top three team, it's the conference championship that isn't the conference championship in a sense. We'll see you in the next one. And uh, our season finale, regular season finale against Penn State will be after that. Take care. Have a great day.